Alright everybody, I want to say hey to absolutely everybody out there in Deer Meat for Dinner land. It has been a crazy long day. That's Clinton Trotta, there's Uncle Larry. They're here, they're like my audience. It's like Deer Meat for Dinner, KC2C, filmed in front of a live audience. That's when y'all are supposed to clap. <laughs> But Clinton actually invited us out this weekend on Easter. Uh, we've been working so much lately. He's like, Rob, I can hunt on Easter. And I'm like, so can we. So after the uh, final four on Saturday night, we all packed up and went out there. Now, I just got done. I took out some deer meat because Uncle Larry said he's been craving deer meat. So there's some backstrap that's all cut up into cubes. And then, that's wild turkey. There's the tenderloins, there's the breast, and if you want to see a video on how we clean the turkey, right there, uh, just watch that video. But here's a nice turkey breast, and on Sunday, Easter, the first Easter that Sarah and I have ever been together as husband and wife, Sarah got to sit for several hours and uh, you guys just take a look at this. This is her hunt on Saturday all by herself. All right, hey everybody. So it's my second time ever Osceola turkey hunting here in Florida. Tonight we decided to split up. So Rob's gonna hunt an area and I'm gonna hunt the spot I'm in right now. I got a Tom decoy strutting in front of me and I have zero calls. Rob took the calls because they don't fit my mouth. So it's just kind of a waiting game. We think this is where they cross, so hopefully they see the decoy come running in and I'm gonna try to film it the best I can, but I can't promise anything. So I got my GoPro running on me and I'll try to get as many shots as possible. But I'm just, my main mission is to get a turkey, so I'll keep you guys posted. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really cool. I mean, Sarah thought she was doing a bad job, but she was actually doing a great job with her mouth. And if you can call a hen, you can dang sure call a tom. Now, we got to kill one, but it's not on video. And here's the breast. It's got a few pellet holes. Breasted it out. And we are going to just dice it up into chunks like this. Parker, this one's for you, man. Here's all our turkey chunks. And we're actually going to throw the deer meat in there too because I'm going to season it all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Everglades rub. This stuff is phenomenal. And I'm just going to give it a nice coat. Watch everything. I know a lot of you, a lot of you have ordered the cactus dust, the fish and chicken, and the original, and the heat. If you've never ordered the Everglades rub, do it. It's, as you can tell, that this this is like the last night. That's all my rub. We gotta go to the store and get more. So take that. 
just um, let it fall in love there. Just, just literally, just let this all just come to life. And this is nice and seasoned. Okay. Good, good, good. Look at all that. Look at all that. So we're gonna make things easy tonight, and we're gonna do we're gonna do deer meat and turkey kebabs. This isn't a kebab that you're gonna find at some restaurant that's pretty much all cheap veggies. We're using baby bellas that I just cut in half. I am so excited for these shish kebabs. I haven't had them since my mom and dad cooked them. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be really, really good. It's so good. If this was a fishing pole, it would be doubled over right now. Hmm? Wet the skewers on the next one. Everything's on the skewers. Wet the skewers? Wet the skewers. Keep them from burning? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that skewer. Deer meat, turkey, sweet papas, baby bell mushrooms. So good. There is a plate full of beautiful, high protein, full of flavor, absolutely epic shish kebabs. Organic. All right, so next on the uh, menu, we've got some sliced zucchini squash and regular yellow squash. I'll show you all some really easy ways just to knock this out. Now, I want you all to know today has been a nutso day. I was on the boat in all these crazy holes, like working on pumps. I took apart the master stateroom to fix the uh, side scan sonar. It's just been a crazy day. I'm still wearing the same clothes I've worked in all day, and I guarantee you, a lot of y'all are the same way. So, this is just a nice way to come home, cook an awesome meal that everyone's gonna love, and uh, Clinton even got dressed up for it, so boom. Uh, this is regular Everglades. The regular Everglades is unbelievable on veggies. Season that up. We're gonna take a little bit of this olive oil, just doctor it up. Oh yeah, that won't be bad. We're gonna take some fresh cracked pepper. Like that. And then we'll just uh, sort of roll it around, just so it, you know that olive oil will my dad has a knack for calling. Keep rolling. Thank you for calling the offices of Deer Meat for Dinner. Currently, Robert is cooking dinner. If you would like to eat dinner, come over. If you'd like to leave a message, do so at the beep. Beep! Hey, good phone, give me a call. So, as I was saying, you just let your veggies roll around and you don't want to over season them just I mean see how that olive oil makes them shine all right so we're gonna have our kebabs we're gonna have some grilled zucchini and squash and then this is Uncle Ben's original I'm gonna show you a trick this is how you make really good rice so instead of using just water I'm using that's about just over two and a quarter cups of chicken broth uh, put that in there. Then we're going to take, instead of using butter, because I'm trying, I got up to 224 pounds and was like, whoa, I'm getting old and heavy. So I'm using more olive oil, less butter. Just uh, put a little dab of olive oil in there. As this gets hot, I'm just going to put in a cup of rice. I added a little bit because I knew some was going to be stuck. All you're gonna do is just stir this around a little bit. Once it gets all put together like that, good. Let it cook. Let it cook. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably like big in olive oil. I never was, but man, since I've started using this stuff, I'm in love. I'm in love, big guy. I'm trying to really lather up this grill. 
You have olive oil. You have grill stuff down here. It's okay. Now. <laughs> nice, huh? Cooking us up some kebabs. You need this? I'm not trying to cook it at such a high heat, so. Our rice is at a full boil now. cover it back up we're gonna turn it down to a simmer just let it cook it's gonna be about 15 20 minutes that rice will be perfect and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off my grill pan and here in about five minutes we're gonna cook this in a grill pan nothing like coming home after a long day of work and Sarah's been dealing with different companies and dealing with YouTube all day I've been working on the on the boat Nothing like coming home and cooking up some game that you harvested and making a home cooked meal. It's a thousand times better to do this than just come in, plop down on the couch, start watching TV while your wife's on her phone and there's no social activity there. This is a great way to live. How do you know when to flip them? I, you know, it's just feel. You're just trying to you don't want to overcook anything, so I'm just going to flip them right now. Then I'm going to close the lid and. Mom, I know. I cook by feel. And that, you can see some of the caramelization going on there. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. You want your grill pan hot but not so hot that it's just gonna burn everything. That's a nice sound. That's a nice sound. Put the oil in there. A little bit of olive oil. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. Okay, so if you're working on the grill, that is a very valuable piece of equipment. I'll show you why. This smells so good. Hey, Clinton. Larry, come here. Just get a whiff of that. Just get your face down there. Mm. Wow. We'll be all right. I yeah. think so. <laughs> We're gonna let them eat some of the rice and one piece of zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> the zucchini looks great though. All right, so this is ready. We got some nice color here. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Good stuff. All right, so I want you guys to know how valuable that glove is because it totally keeps the heat out, allows you to come in, flip your stuff. Oh, I think that one's done at the end. Yes. We'll let them all sit. We're almost done. It's almost time to eat, y'all. I'll actually leave this out here. I know a lot of y'all are watching this video hoping that falls on the ground. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen, y'all. I'm 
sucks. I didn't eat this. Well, good. Make sure you shut off your gas. Good. Now look. Look how nice that came out. Just nice and fluffy. Mm-mm-mm. Thanks for coming down, Larry. Thanks a lot for Pleasure. hunting this weekend. Thank you. Let's say the blessing. Lord, I, I sure do thank you for all our many blessings. and Thank you for this food and thank you for just everything. And thank you for, for being with us. Please nourish this food to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. Dear me, I love it. As the room goes dead quiet. <laughs> I'll tell you now it's good. The rice is good too. What do you think, Larry? Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> Larry will eat anything that doesn't outrun him. <laughs> I love doing it. Thanks for getting the turkey, man. No problem. It's my pleasure. <laughs> It like it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like soft but crunchy and it tastes good. It's nice. What I love about doing um, shish kebabs like this is you can incorporate so many flavors. Mm -hmm. Like the flavors of the of the mushroom marry over to the taste of the meat that it's next to, and then you can just really you can put together a nice blend of. Of flavors. That mushroom is good too. Delicious. Holy cats. Larry came in from Illinois. Clinton's a he's the insurance guy. Sarah's been on the computer all day. I haven't even taken a shower and we still threw this together, filmed it. I've got to download it, edit it, and then upload it tonight. And it's 8.44 p.m. now. So so in other words, we don't film early. Yeah, this is this is on the fly. And it's delicious. Very, very good. That's good stuff. And if you guys don't know, um, check out our Facebook page, Deer Mate for Dinner, because I share like if we our shirts come in, if something's back ordered, just different news and things that are going on um, behind the scenes of Deer Mate for Dinner. So it'll keep you updated. So go ahead, check our Facebook page, give us a like, and then you can stay updated throughout everything. And, and we have new shirt color colors that just came in. So in the cotton and microfiber, we have new colors. So it'll be on the website tomorrow. So check that out if you guys want to order one. I know you guys said there was a couple problems going on, um, not being able to order them, but I fixed it today. So if you should have any more problems, please let me know right away so I can take care of it. So that being said, what else, honey? Nothing. Another great day. Delicious. I meant. I meant to do the wedding video this weekend. There's your problem right there. Be mad at that guy. Because he invited us to go hunting and I couldn't refuse. But sometime this week, Lord willing, I will cut the wedding video. You guys will see all of that. And I hope you like the turkey hunt. Yeah. We're stoked. Thank you all so mm -hmm. much, man. We're ripping through 60,000. We'll see y'all soon. <laughs>